Hello, welcome once again to my channel. This is Cyber Point, and in this video, I will show you how you can make Fortinac a local radio server to your users uh, connecting and all your devices, and which is very useful for authenticating users and devices on 802.1x. So this video focuses more on making Fortinac a local radio server to your devices by the way this is fortinac uh, 7.4.0 which is a 40 os fortinac so the first thing you want to do is to you know uh, enable uh, the radio service here by enabling it, uh, it's the radius uh, service starts running. Then ensure that the, this port is one eight yeah, eighteen one two, and also disable the proxy accounting and map request. Then leave every other thing as default as it is here. Then submit. Then the second thing you want to ensure is to integrate your head up to Fortinac. Uh, by doing so, you go to you go to systems go to settings then under settings you see authentication and see LDAP so here you had let's modify this so this is the name cyberpoint as the domain server that I have within my environment uh, here is the IP address and here is the MAC address of the uh, network connected to it which I'm going to show you so to get this you're going to go to your hold up server so uh go to your command ten dots fifteen dot is two hundred and there's the mac address so you use the mac address in this format in this format in column format and put it there then use a service account that has a lead admin privileges to pull groups and users into Fortinac then validate the credentials ensure that the credential is valid go to additional settings uh on the do under the domain name give it the, do the domain name then uh, also enable uh, on sync lead users no longer found in this directory so that uh the Fortinac will keep itself up to date then put the first word of your uh, domain name here so you click go to user attributes under here you click active directory and all other uh, information here will be populated go to group uh, uh, attributes leave it as default search branch under search branch you had search branch and you also select the first one which is dc across your domain and the dot com or dot local whichever you're using then click ok then under the group search as well you had it as well and also click ok then under select group you select i selected all because i want all the user groups to be part of what i'm going to uh, you know be able to authenticate when i'm done then you click ok so you've successfully integrated LDAP to uh, Fortinac. The next thing is to log into the CLI interface of the Fortinac and to allow the radius local service on the port interface level. So when you log in, just do config, config system interface, um, edit port one, set allow access um, https being uh, https admin then radius radius local um, radius account then radius then uh, what else snmp uh, 
um, then DNS those SSH just enable those services for for other use cases but the most important thing is to enable the radius looker after you enable other uh, services important for you on that port okay change let's flow so uh, enter and end okay then uh the next thing you want to do is to join fortinac to the domain so before you do that you need to go come to config wizard under the config wizard the host name for fortinac has to you know be specified you can give it any name ensure that the host name is given that you can easily use and the dns record has to be updated on the dns which i'm going to show you then also ensure that your dns uh, ip address is imputed there and the domain name is also imputed there. this is very important for you to be able to successfully join fortinac to the domain add fortinac ip address to your dns record and going to dns manager um, so under for lookup your domain so yeah i've added fortinac just add fortinac to so each also each client within your environment should be able to resolve the ip address to the fqdn of fortinac so that's why this has to be part of your dns uh, host record then add on to network radios then come to winbind under winbind uh you need to create uh these values first before you can be able to join it so under create you just create and it pop pop up uh this window then uh insert this information i would advise that from the domain net bios name downward let it be in capital letter so for for instance the domain net bios name is uh cyber point and the cable's name is cyberpoint.com all in capital letters and the domain controller name is the name of your domain controller then click ok once you click ok and everything is in a good shape your fortinac will be joined to the domain so once fortinac is joined to the domain uh you'd see here in activity see a lot of um, logs um, showing that then uh that is done the next thing you want to do the added switches you know you can check my other videos where i was able to integrate switches routers uh, also set up the network and inst uh, fortinac it's very important you do that then under this i've added the switches before so you come to model configuration this is for the switch then here you enable radius authentication for this device so once you enable radius authentication for this device you also ensure you set a shared secret so the shared secret here should be you no know, uh, given values that you can easily remember then once that is done you can now go to uh, the switch and also set every other things that needs to be set here uh, and, and save. So when this is done, uh, go to the switch that you added. Let's go to the switch admin. So either you go to the switch, any of the switches, routers and all that, so you go to authentication and you come to radius so under radius you set this up uh, let's edit this so the ip address of the fortinac be imputed here then the share secret that you imputed the last time will also be imputed here so let's test connectivity connectivity uh is valid then let's test uh, uh credentials
so let's check the logs and see what we have here we can see we have incorrect and on Luca tests this is the IP address of our switch and when we started using uh, cyber points at cyberpoint.com from the switch this worked and see this worked so now Portanac has been set as a local radio server for our devices and switches so the next thing we want to do which will be in our video is to ensure that we have uh, Fortinac authenticate all of our switch ports and, and users and devices by using the network access policy here to enforce control for 802.1x authentication so if you come here you would see this user being authenticated i can see 802.1x authentication with the user's id and all that and if users are not within the domain and they are not authenticating the fortinac will put them in an isolation or registration zone so that's the next step we are going to do in the coming video kindly watch and if this has helped you let me know in the comment section